Alexander the Great, leader of men, general of armies, conqueror of the known world, dead at 33. But not today, Alexander the Great is not dead. His empire is at its furthest extents, and at 33 years old, Alexander falls sick, but he gets better. What would have happened if Alexander the Great didn't die. So this is supposed to save the Argead Empire, but there's a weird thing with the time lapse, and when things get changed, things get changed, so it says the Hellenic League. Uh, it's supposed to be the Argead Empire, but we'll just pretend for now. I don't know, I still think it's pretty cool with Hellenic League, and the purple's a great color, so I'm not too offended, but I am a little disappointed. I put in the work to make it say Argead Empire. Clearly it doesn't. Now before we get started, do make sure to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button down below. It only takes a second and it really does help the channel. If you want, you can be like No Step on Snack, who said, pretty cool video, bro. Now I will say, pretty cool is what I aspire to be. Pretty good. You know, I don't want to be cool. I don't want to be good. I just want to be pretty good. Pretty cool. So thank you, No Step on Snack. I will make sure not to step on any snacks. No snacks were harmed in the making of this video, which I'm hoping will be a pretty cool video. And with that, let's get started with this time lapse. Early on, not much changing around the Hellenic League, around the Empire of Alexander. Not much changing, honestly, around most of the world. We got a war between Pactria, Bactria and Parthia, which led to a minor change in border there. Moria. They are fighting a little bit in the south there. The Hellenic League has not done much yet. Rome is expanding really well in the Italian peninsula. Carthage, not doing much yet either. Nope, they're expanding in Iberia, just as we would expect them to do. The Hellenic League has, I mean, they control Egypt, so they might as well do the Egyptian thing and take out Kush. That seems to happen every single video. They did eat Parthia. And they're at war with some... Are they at war with just a tiny little nation? I think they might be at war with just the tiny little nation there. Bactria is doing the name thing because why not? Kush is also doing the name thing. Oh, dang. The Hellenic League just took Bulgaria. All right, so the Hellenic League, the Empire of Alexander, is expanding in the Balkans. Clearly, that's going to end well because wars in the Balkans always end well. Rome still working on unifying the peninsula. The AI is not that great at, like, unifying their areas. Oh, the Hellenic League just beat Xanthia. They seem to be going for the eastern provinces more so than going west. You'd think they would try to take that juicy Italian peninsula, but they might actually, they might continue the conquest of Alexander. I wouldn't be surprised if we see a Hellenic League in Magnet Empire War at some point as they try to continue those conquests of Alexander. Carthage continuing to try to unify the Iberian Peninsula. Rome is just doing Rome things. There we go. That looks much better. They're, those borders were real nasty there for a little bit. The Hellenic League, yep, they are continuing to take those northern areas there, just taking out the tribes instead of going to war with the larger empires. They're pushing back Kush, Kush always seems to fall. And we are having more little nations pop up inside of the Hellenic League. Seems like they're having some trouble holding their nation together. But they are expanding at a relatively rapid rate. Rome continuing to do what Rome does in all of these videos, which has just become incredibly Germanic. They are just going north. Oh, and it does appear like they won a war with Carthage. I know Carthage at one point controlled the boot. And uh, so Rome has defeated Carthage on the Italian peninsula. But we do have... Our first border between Alexander's Empire and Rome. Alright, that could get interesting. That could get real interesting. See if, uh, see if Alexander goes into the Italian peninsula. Now, in this time lapse, in this alternative history, Alexander is immortal. So he is leading the Empire for all of these years. So at this point, he's like 250 years old, still going strong, still conquering. Carthage still working on Iberia. That's actually one of the slowest expansions we've seen from Carthage in all of these videos. Kush is tiny. Kush continues to be beaten down in these videos. Oh, is that? No, that I thought for a second they were at war with the Hellenic Empire, but they are not. Oh, they have moved into Germany. 
Who would have thought Alexander would be leading his armies against the Germanic tribes? That is fantastic. Very small expansion so far. Although it looks like, are they taking? Looks like they're taking Crimea. I think that's that's Alexander's empire that's taking that bit right there. No truce yet. Wow, they're just sitting on that for you and nothing. Nothing happened. I really thought that they were going to take that and finish off their surrounding of the Black Sea. Rome is kind of a beast, honestly. The borders are awful, and the fact that they're leaving so many tribes there to just chill is real obnoxious, but kind of a beast. I kind of like it. The Hellenically, oh, it looks like they went to war with Magda. Uh, yeah, because the borders I originally gave them was that river right in the middle of the map. So they, they, they have gone to war with Magda. They've taken a little bit of the Indian Peninsula. We haven't seen a major war between powers yet, but we still have like 300 years. So it's still a very good chance. Oh! Massive revolt. The Argean revolt in the Hellenic League. This, this must be where... I mean, if we're looking from a historical perspective... I'm looking at the Hellenic League as the actual revolt, and I think at this point, they have just overthrown the reign of Alexander and replaced it with the Hellenic League. That's that's my thought process here, and that's what we're going with. Poor Alexander. He would have ruled for 300 more years before being replaced by the Hellenic League. Lost Greece. Interesting. So, wait a minute. This is the Hellenic League... But Greece is independent. That makes no sense. That makes absolutely no sense. Carthage is dealing with its own revolt. Rome is honestly sitting very strong. England has unified at this point. Oh my goodness. Carthage is just an absolute mess. Oh, it's happening. Oh, they just rocked Rome. They didn't take that much territory. But the Hellenic Empire just rocked Rome. The Avanti Empire, I swear, the Magda Morian Avanti Empire, it changes names like four times every video. Kush! Kush still exists! My boy! Oh, they got beaten back by Rome. Yeah, they lost some of their uh, Italian territories to Rome. Oh, there we go. They just beat the Bosporian Kingdom. Really? That border, like, why? You could have taken a nice chunk out of it and just had to butcher it. Absolutely butchered it. Carthage has gotten through their civil war. They are at war with Rome right now. We'll see how that plays out. It looks to me like Rome is winning that fight. Some Carthaginian armies in Italy, but Rome just took Corsica and half of Sardinia. Or the other way around. I can never remember those two. There we go. There we see... See how nice that looks, that border with the Bosporian Kingdom. They could have done that the first time, but they didn't. Oh, that looks beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Cleaning up a little bit more on the Arabian Peninsula. That's what I like to see. There we go. There we go. Oh, they just beat the Magdan Empire, which once again, changed name. It's like every time they lose a war, they change their name. Makes sense. Just get rid of the losers. They are beaten back. The, all of a sudden, the Hellenic League is aggressive they're at war with rome also let's see how this plays out it look they they appear to be winning from what i can tell they control the vast majority of the border with rome there they also have armies in the italian peninsula that they, yep they're all through all through germany nothing changed makes sense carthage decided to go and take england Carthage and Rome also just fought a war, which nothing happened. Another war between Rome and Carthage, with Rome winning, even though it looked to me like Carthage was winning, but hey. another There we go, Rome and the Hellenic League. Looks to me like the Hellenic League is winning, but it keeps looking like that, and they don't necessarily pull it out, so we'll see if there's any border changes from this conflict. There is a Roman army in the Balkans. They don't appear to be making too much progress. There we go. Little tiny border change. Not that much, but helped clean it up a little bit. Oh, they're at war with the Magdan Empire again. We got a little bit of conflict in the north there. And yep, they are just... They took a look once again like a little... They're just sort of nibbling on everyone. Like right now, they're, they just 
a little bit of Kushan. They're not looking at knocking people out. They're just take a little bit here, a little bit there. Another war with Rome. See if we can clean those borders up just a little bit more. I mean, at this point, they are relatively unstoppable. They've won wars against Rome. They've won wars against Mag. Oh, my goodness. Why? Look at that little circle there. Why did you leave that? Goodness. They had a chance for another really nice border. That is going to do it. So almost 600 years later, if Alexander does not die, he is able to solidify his empire, pass it on to heirs, sort of end up in a rebellion, get replaced with the Hellenic League that doesn't have the Greeks in it, because that makes sense, and rule a massive, massive empire that expands from Germany to Egypt into India. I'm actually disappointed they didn't push more into India. I think it took a while for it to sort of consolidate everything. And then really aggressive at the end there, trying to push the borders. I'm disappointed it didn't get the Bosporus. I'm disappointed with that a little bit with Rome. But other than that, I honestly really like this empire. Purple looks great. I will always take purple in an empire. And just that name placement. And with that, let's take a look at the score. See what our nations are here. So for score, we have got the Hellenic League running away with a score of 35,000. Followed up closely by Rome with 11,700. Carthage, the Magdan Empire, the Bosporan Kingdom. Ashmaka, Mundia, Laconia, Kalinga, and Beotia. I'm pretty sure if you take every country left on this map, combine them together, it does not surpass the Hellenic League. Absolutely dominate. And really goes to show you the power that Alexander held when he did die. The fact that, I mean, this is the known world at the time, and all I did in this was reunite his empire and absolutely dominant, dominant force. And with that, I will leave you guys with this beautiful image. The Hellenic League spanning from Greece to India. If you guys enjoyed this video, do make sure to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. It really only does take a second and it really does help the channel. Make sure to leave a comment down below. And while you're at it, if you want, you can check out my Patreon page. There's a link in the description. And with that, I will see you guys next time. Reef out.